Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye and for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a beauty haul. Since we have been on lockdown, I have been doing quite a bit of online shopping. So I actually have a couple of hauls that I'll be sharing with you guys over the next couple of weeks. But for today's haul, I wanted to share with you guys, finally, the products that I got back from the Sephora VIB sale, as well as a couple of other products I have purchased over the most recent couple of weeks. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. I figured it would be good to jump on here and share the products with you before I actually get into using them in tutorials and stuff like that so you guys can let me know what products you want to see you guys know I love to do that do hauls so that you guys can let me know what you actually want to see in future videos so that is exactly what we're going to be doing for today's video so before we get started if you are new to my channel definitely consider subscribing I would love to have you as part of my fam here on YouTube if you enjoy this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I upload future videos and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the haul all right guys so this is the box that we are working with and it may seem like a small box but there's a lot going on in here so don't let the size fool you so I have a couple of products that I've actually purchased and then I also went ahead and threw in um, really quickly a couple of items that I actually got in PR since these are items that you can get from Sephora I figured I would just share them with you really quickly it's just two items that I've gotten in PR recently so I'll just go ahead and start with those they're both from Urban Decay so the first one is actually an item that I got today this is the new Urban Decay Lash Freak Freaky Volume Mascara. It looks like this. And it basically looks like it has one side that has um, like the bristles and then it also has bristles on the tip so that you can really get into those inner and outer corners. So this is what the packaging looks like. Pretty bright lime green packaging. And then this is, you guys probably aren't really going to be able to see what the wand looks like i'll try to insert a picture for you guys if this is available let's see what it says so it says it's supposed to give you 23.6 times more volume and 40 percent more length and does it say on here when this launches it doesn't say when this is supposed to launch so i'll see if i can find that information for you guys and list it or if it's already available, I will link it for you down below. But it says it's supposed to be flake proof, smudge proof, and have up to 20 hours of wear. So this is what the little card looks like. And you can kind of see how the bristles are just on that top side. And then also on the tip, it kind of has like some extra little bristles, like I said, for getting in that inner and outer corner. So I received this in PR today. Wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. And then I also got a couple of weeks ago the new Urban Decay Naked Ultra Violet Palette. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are already very familiar with the Naked series. So they went ahead and launched another palette and this is what it looks like. The packaging on this honestly is absolutely gorgeous. It gives me like crystal vibes. I don't know. It's really pretty. So that's what that looks like and then when you open it up on the inside you of course have your urban decay brush and then these are oh wait these are the shadows there we go if you see me keep looking over here it's because my um computer is over here i'm just trying to make sure that you guys can see and everything's in focus but yes this is the shadows really pretty purpley shades we've got like an iridescent shade happening and then also some kind of neutral shades which I'm sure a lot of people probably were expecting this to be a completely all purple palette but I'm not really mad that they included a few kind of like more neutral shades that you can use to complement these other purple shades over here so I definitely plan on filming a tutorial with this really soon just because I just want to try it out and see if the quality is as good as I remember the Naked palettes to be because I haven't used any of my Naked palettes in forever um, so yeah these were two PR items that were sent to me that are newer so I wanted to share those with you first and now let's go ahead and get into everything that I purchased from Sephora over the past couple of weeks and then also the things that I've just had sitting in this box since the Sephora VIB sale which I know was hella long ago but y'all know the struggle has been real so let's go ahead and get into it the very first thing that I got is actually a, um, a repurchase this is my favorite brow um, pencil at the moment. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I get mine in the shade number four. So I just always, anytime that there's a sale or anything, whatever my staple items are, I always like to go ahead and just purchase 
um, some backups of those. So I went ahead and picked up another one of these. And then I also picked up the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. You guys already know that this is one of my favorites. So I went ahead and picked up a backup of this as well. Nice brand new packaging. I am more than halfway done with um, my other one that I actually got in PR way, way, way long ago when it first launched. So definitely wanted to go ahead and pick up another one of these because this is hands down one of my favorite, favorite, favorite primers if you're looking for something that is going to really grip your makeup and hold it in place. And then everything else that I got I think is all new products except for this. I did pick up the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have mentioned this to you guys before and I normally purchase the one that is half the size of this, but since I use it so often, I decided to go ahead and get a larger size. This is really great for cleaning your brushes in between the deep cleans. So if you're someone that is not a fan of having to wash your makeup brushes, which honestly I don't know very many people who are fans of washing their makeup brushes, um, this right here is something that you can literally just Pour into a little bowl, dip your brush in, swirl off any product that's on the brush and it dries within like less than 10 seconds and your brush is ready to use again. This is a product that a lot of um, makeup artists use to clean their brushes in between clients, but I find that it also works really great for just cleaning your brushes at home in between uses, in between those like your main deep clean brush days, if that makes sense. Your deep clean deep brush cleaning days. <laughs> um, so yeah, went ahead and picked up that. And then also along with cleaning tools, I saw that Beauty Blender came out with a large version of their Beauty Blender Solid Clen Cleanser. So normally I get the little smaller um, white one that I think is like 20 something dollars. And then I saw that they came out with this one and I was like, well, let me pick up this one and see if maybe it lasts me a little bit longer because I find that with the smaller white ones, I feel like I go through them pretty quickly and I really only use the Beauty Blender Cleanser for my Beauty Blender Beauty Blenders. <laughs> I don't use them for my brushes. So I figured I would just spend a couple extra dollars. I think this was $45 and pick up the larger size. So it comes with a little um, beauty, ben beauty, that is a tongue twister, beauty blender cleansing pad. Let's see how many times I can say beauty blender in the next minute. But yes, it comes with a little cleansing pad and then this is the solid on the inside. And just so that you guys can see, I did use it um, once already. So it's kind of still wet and probably stuck to the inside of this container. But I want to try to get it out so that you guys can see. Okay, so this is the size of it. So you can kind of see it's like, I don't, probably four times the size, maybe, of the white, um, the original Beauty Blender cleanser that you buy in the white container. So yeah, they said that you can use this for cleaning both your Beauty Blenders as well as your brushes. Um, but like I said, I typically only use this for cleaning my beauty blenders. I may use it for my brushes. I may try that out. It may be like a little bit more convenient. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and pick this up and try it out. Like I said, I did already use it on my beauty blenders when I cleaned them today. And it worked very well. Honestly, I almost kind of feel like this one works better than the white one. It got my beauty blender clean really fast and it also got like a whole lot more soapy than I feel like the white one does. So I'll keep using it and I'll keep you guys posted but so far from using it today, I'm very impressed and will probably continue just spending that extra couple dollars for the value that you get with the bigger one. Okay, so next up I got two um, loose setting powders. The first one that I got is from Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I already own this powder. The one that I have is in the shade um, blondie, which is a more yellow toned. So I want to, or I wanted to get one that was a little bit lighter that I could actually use for highlighting under my eyes. The blondie shade that I had previously, it works well. You guys have seen me use it in previous videos, but I feel like it's just a little bit dark for my complexion for highlighting under the eyes. So I went ahead and picked up this shade, which again, like I said, is in the shade blondie. It's still a yellow tone, but it's a little bit lighter than the shade Blondie. I have been using this and I have been really liking it. Like I said, I mean it's literally exactly like the Blondie one. You can use it for setting underneath your eyes, but it's just a little bit lighter so it actually gives me that brightness under my eyes that I'm looking for with a um, setting powder whenever I'm baking. So 
This, if you are my complexion and you have been thinking about trying out the Huda Beauty setting powders, I would recommend this shade if you want it for highlighting. Again, it's in the shade Banana Bread. And also, as always, I will have everything that I talk about in this video linked for you guys down below as well. And then the next setting powder that I picked up is the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. And this one is in the shade 52. Now, you guys know that I, well, you may or may not know, depending on if you're new to my channel, but I have very, very oily skin. And whenever I apply my primers, before I apply my foundation, I like to set my primers with a fine, loose setting powder. And my go-to powder for that, for the longest time, has been the Cover FX mattifying loose setting powder in the shade medium well for whatever reason sephora and ulta have discontinued selling that powder in store and online and i've also noticed it seems like sephora is actually phasing out cover effects altogether like they seem to be phasing out the whole brand altogether probably to make room for other brands that they're you know starting to work with and stuff and ulta has been phasing out certain products including the mattifying powder that I have been obsessed with. So I could just order it from the Cover FX website, but I don't know, that's just not really that convenient because it would literally be the only thing that I'm ordering from the website. And I don't know, like I, I just like to be able to go into the store to see what I'm purchasing or like if I ran out and I need it right away, I like the option of being able to just go into the store. So anyway, I decided that I would try to find something else that is sold at Sephora that I could get my hands on quickly and kind of replace the Cover FX powder. So I haven't tried this yet, but that is what I purchased this for. So again, it's the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Setting Powder. And I did see on the display when I purchased this that this is supposed to be an ultra finely milled setting powder. Um, so I think I already said I picked mine up in the shade 52. And yeah, I mean, it looks like... It's a little bit light, but it looks similar to the shade that my Cover FX powder was. So I feel like I can use this both for setting my um, primer underneath my makeup and then also for like setting my face if I wanted to use it for that. So we're going to see. I'm going to have to try it out. I may wait and try it out with you guys on camera, but I was so disappointed to see that that powder was discontinued because you guys know I love that powder. I always talk about it. I always mention it, but... Anywho, moving right along, I have two more things to share with you guys for this haul. The next thing is actually an eyeshadow palette. And I don't remember the last time I purchased an eyeshadow palette. I feel like I have so many palettes that I just don't have the desire to purchase. Like it has to be like a really bomb standout palette for me to feel like I need to spend money on another palette that has shades that I probably already have within all the palettes that I already have in my collection but I decided to purchase this one because when it came out I saw a lot of people online that were swatching it and using it on their eyes and first of all the packaging is just super sleek and just gorgeous but I saw a lot of people using it online and I was like you know what I feel like that's probably a palette that I can get a lot of use out of like, look at these tones. Honestly, I do kind of feel like this probably looks similar to something that I already have in my collection. I can't quite put my finger on where I've seen this before. And it may not necessarily be something I own. It may just be something that I've, I've seen before. Like this, this kind of almost safari-esque tones. But... Like I said, I just feel like these are the kinds of tones that I would use on a very regular basis. It's a very warm palette. It kind of has a little bit of coolness in some of the shades, but for the most part, it is a very, very warm palette. Very beautiful, bronzy, golden shades. And these mattes, honestly, is what sold me on purchasing the palette because I feel like it is. it can be so hard to find those perfect mattes for brown skin and I'm really into like this kind of color here this kind of color here those like reddish brown warm tones for the crease so that's really what sold me on this palette and then of course like I said the fact that it had lots of bronzy tones in it I feel like this is something that I could throw in my travel bag when I go out of town or just something I could pull out of my collection when I don't really know what I want to do but I want to put a little bit of makeup on I feel like this is something that would be very easy to just use and create a very natural bronzy glowy kind of look so i'm very excited to use this 
And then last but not least, I picked up a gloss from Fenty. This is in the shade Hot Chocolate. And it looks like this. And I've actually purchased quite a few things from Fenty and also picked up a couple of things from Savage X Fenty. So I'm actually going to be doing that in a separate haul. Um, it's going to be basically like uh, products that I purchased from black owned brands over the past couple of weeks. So I have some Fenty stuff, I have some Uma Beauty stuff, and then I also have just like some other body care, fashion items and stuff like that that I'm going to put all in one video that's going to be a separate haul. But I did purchase this during the VIB sale, so I figured I would just go ahead and share this with you guys in today's video. And just so you can see, first of all, I'm obsessed with Fenty's glosses. I just feel like ugh, they're just so glossy and so moisturizing on the lips and so comfortable to wear. But this is what that shade looks like. It's just a beautiful chocolate brown it actually almost even gives you a little bit of like deep mauve tones i think that's just the shimmer in the gloss there's kind of like these little pinkish goldish um mauvey tone shimmers in it so it is definitely a chocolate gloss but depending on how the light hits it it can lean a little bit like a dark mauve so yeah i wanted to go ahead and pick this up just so that i could have Another Fenty Gloss because they are quickly becoming my favorites. I have the original Fenty Glow and then I also picked up the shade Fussy and I just went ahead and picked this one up as well. So yeah, that is everything that I have to share with you guys for today's haul. I am very excited to finally have filmed this video for you guys so that I can start diving into all of the products that I picked up, especially this palette and this powder. I feel like these are the two things that I'm like not really that familiar with, like the two things that are actually new to me. Everything else is like a different shade of something I already had or products I've already used before, but these are the two new products for me that I've purchased. So I'm very excited to finally dig into those and try them out and feature them in future videos and tutorials and stuff like that. So definitely let me know down below what you guys would like to see out of everything that I hauled for you guys today. Um, you know, kind of rank for me what products you guys would like to see in action. Or if you guys have any videos in general that you guys would like to see from me in the coming weeks, definitely be sure to leave those down below. I'm looking for suggestions so that I can kind of start um, planning out my content and getting back to pumping out videos for you guys. So yeah, that is all that I have to share with you guys for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you made it this far and you have not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing if you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give this one a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It helps to get my content out to more people that also enjoy watching hauls. And I think that's all that I have. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video.